Okay, so it's done. Uh, this mesh, this master, this mission master is done processing your mesh. So now what I'll do is like I'll choose a suitable percentage from, you know, like if you choose twenty percent, then basically the poly count will get cut to twenty percent of this. So it shows you an approximation here. So I think the for most cases twenty percent is okay. So I'm just gonna choose the default value. And if I now do a decimate current, like if I press and press here, notice that your poly count has like decreased a lot, but your mesh almost looks totally, yeah, lo your mesh looks same. Let me choose another brush. Yeah, so your mesh looks same. See, that's because the uh, decimation master cut off. You know points and edges where it's not needed just uh, kept enough edges and vertices to support the curved surfaces as you can see here only in a uh, only high density mesh is uh, there where there's a lot of curvy surfaces if it's planar it's almost like nothing here it looks okay now and it's much more optimized too so I'm just gonna bring it inside 3s max uh, so I'm gonna choose cozy oh wait before that I'm gonna make a backup of this okay let's see what happens here now Okay, never mind. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I forgot. Like, there's a bug. ZBrush doesn't work. The Gozi plugin doesn't work when you transfer the mesh from ZBrush to 3ds Max. It's a small bu a bug for 3ds Max 2018. So I'm just gonna manually export it from here. Export it desktop just gonna choose a random name demo high mesh okay that's done I'm gonna delete this part off import import and yeah imported it back in see looks good those smooth chamfering things are there and I'm gonna choose a different material to look it to make it look better to like look to make it look more metallic yeah, it looks good now so yeah this is it pretty much mm. yeah, if you like the video like it uh, if you dislike it then the dislike buttons right there for you so yeah Bye.